Hand welcome and in this short video I'm gonna show you how we can create uh, your Laravel app and connect this to the AVS S3 bucket service. So let's begin and the first thing that we need to do is to create a new Laravel app. So let's do this. So I'm typing composer create project. You can you can also use Laravel CLI if you want to create a new Laravel app, but I will create a new Laravel project by using composer project Pack manager. So now I'm gonna create a new folder with Laravel project and it will be named heavy is Laravel tutorial okay so let's create a new project and after installation we will need also to install another dependency so yeah let's go now to this folder so AVS Laravel tutorial and now um, you will need to install one important dependency that is that you can see now in my terminal so this is composer require liga fly system avs s3 v3 and 3.0 versions install this in dependency and you will also find this in this uh, description of this video and now let's go to the amazon dashboard if you're not familiar with amazon i'm gonna show you everything that you need to do to start using amazon s3 bucket service and laravel so as you can see I'm now in my Amazon console and first of all we will need to create a new user with access keys for the S3 bucket connection in the Laravel app that we just generated. So let's go to the I am server. So I mean service and you can find this in search. So let's go to the I am and we will need to create a new user as I said. So let's wait and yep. So great. So first of all, if you don't have user group, you will need to create a new group. You already have one group and a name admins, but I will create a new group with permission. So and yeah, also I created here uh, new users to test users, uh, but I will need to create a new group as I said. So let's create a new group, name it Laravel group test, for example. And now we need to attach permissions, policies. So it will give uh, permissions to the S3 bucket. So search here S3 bucket. And because this is tutorial, I'm going to use Amazon S3 full access. So this policy gives to us permission to all S3 bucket resources and for all S3 bucket features. So uh, click on, you can see, if you click on plus, you can see that, yes, this give, gives uh, access to all uh, buckets that you have in your Amazon console and you can ha do anything by using this policy. Okay, so click on this checkbox and now let's click create a group nice uh so group successfully created so now we need to create a new use new user that will be in this group so now let's click add users okay and now let's create a new username so uh it will be laravel avs user for example and here you will need to select avs credential type and we're going to use access key because we need access key and secret key to make connection inside the laravel application so click on this checkbox and now click next permissions now we need to select group that we just created so it will be laravel group test that have all access to the s3 bucket services so now let's go to the text we don't need text so we can go to the review and now we can create a new user and i'm gonna show you my secret key because after this video i will delete this user and this group so um, <laughs> if somebody will try to use these keys uh, it will not work Okay, so you will need to copy all this data. So copy all this data, copy your access key and secret key and save it because you will need to use this when we will make connection to the S3 bucket. Okay, so now we created a user, but that's not all because now we need to uh, go to the S3 service. So you will, you will need to search here S3 and you will need to go to this server yes i mean service yep yeah. open the service and you will need to create a, a new bucket buckets you know it's like uh, your oven place or storage where you can save some files yeah and we will create a new bucket named laravel avs bucket test and you can also choose region region where you want to place this packet so it can be euro europe you can 
it can be Asia, United States and other countries. Yeah. And we can choose default options. So we type it name of the bucket. Now let's create click on the create a bucket button. And now let's wait. And yeah, this bucket is created. So this is Laravel AVS bucket test. Okay, great. And now we have everything that we need to make connection to the S3 service inside the Laravel application. So now open your Laravel application in code editor and let's connect it. Okay, so first of all, you will need to open .nv file and we will go to the file system disk variable and we will change this to S3. So now we have default disk for the file system and it will be S3 packet service. Now let's move on and you can see this is AVS access key, access key and AVS secret access key for the user that we just created. So now I uh, get from the user that you created. So I'm gonna now paste AVS access key and yeah also I'm gonna pass my secret key so let's type secret key and now I need to type name of my bucket that I created so it will be Laravel AVS bucket test so I put it here now let's save it and yes yeah, that's all and now let's create a new controller um, where we're gonna try to create a, a new file inside our bucket. So first let's type PHP artisan make controller this controller and now let's open this controller and here let's create a new function named index and let's try to create a, a new file inside the S3 bucket that we created on the Amazon Web Services. So I'm gonna use storage class and I'm gonna put some data inside uh, test.txt file and here I'm gonna put hello s3 bucket yep okay so now let's start local server of the app and yeah let's also don't forget to create a new road for this okay so now let's import um, this controller so let's type here App HTTP controllers, Dix controller, and now let's create a new road for the index function that we just created. So let's type here uh, road to get, and let's type here new road to slash disk, and let's type that we want to use um, index, uh, I mean this, this controller, and that we want to use index function in this road. So now uh, as we started a local server of the app, we can now go to the browser and we can check this road. So let's get back to this browser, browser and um, let's type here this link and let's type here slash disk. And yeah, we see empty page. But if I refresh my bucket, um, okay, I understood. So as you can see, nothing is created. So maybe we have some error and we will need to check this or we have some trouble with connection. Okay, so let's try first import storage and use storage by this way. So let's try this again. And yes, we're going to use put command because we want to create a new file. And let's also check again that new file. And let's go to the um, file system disk. Yes, this is S3. So that means that now everything must work because this is default disk. And this says that we're using Amazon Web Services and we're using S3 bucket service. Okay. Uh, now let's go again here let's refresh it again and let's try um, refresh again as we packet AVS bucket test and yes this is not this don't work so I think that we need to try var dump because we need to see what is going on you know we can try to open see uh, logs but there is no logs so uh, I think there is some uh, trouble with connection so um, looks like I uh, chosen a wrong uh, default region and I see that my region is not US East. This is this is Europe Central. Europe Central one. Now let's save it. And now let's try open browser again. Okay. And now let's go again to this page. Let's let's refresh it again again and let's 
go to the S3 bucket console. Now, as you can see, our file created successfully because I chosen a correct placement of, I mean, region of this bucket. So um, if you don't know region of your bucket, you can just see it in the URL input. Okay. And now maybe you have question, whoa, how I can get this file. So now we know that we can use a standard functions from the storage facade. But what if I want to get uh, this file? So you can just type storage get test.txt and we can type here, we can create a new variable named content and we can type var dump content and let's save it. And now let's open browser again and let's refresh it. And as you can see, this gets gets content from the test.txt file. And if I refresh, um, you can see that this is this was modified. Okay, so that's all. That's all for this short video. So thanks for watching. And now you can know you know how to connect your Laravel application to the AVS S3 packet service.